Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. I want to show you a really cool thing that you could do with your cell phone. Um, on Honda Odyssey, you could do this on any Honda or Acura. As a matter of fact, the software is so awesome that you could pretty much do it on any car. Anyways, um, this Honda Odyssey, it's a 2012. It was in an accident to the passenger side and this is my old computer. You could see how it's got damaged. It actually, actually cracked open, so it's busted. This computer will never start the car. So I do have a video on YouTube how to clone the computer, but it takes a lot of effort to open it up. So what we're going to do, we actually went ahead and purchased identical part number, another used computer, which we already installed. And that number is identical to the number that originally was on the vehicle. So right now, if you go ahead and start the vehicle, the, 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 the van will start and uh, run for about a couple seconds it will die and then the green key will be flashing on the dashboard which will tell us that immobilizer does not match with the BCM and immobilizer unit which is on the key so this procedure would cost probably around 150 bucks 130 bucks at the dealer to do a replace ECM PCM procedure and program the key so what I'll be using I'll just be using my cell phone okay uh, I'll be using my cell phone and as you can see, this is my cell phone. I'm gonna run an app, and I'm gonna connect to the vehicle via Bluetooth, and I'm gonna do this exact procedure um, just within uh, maybe two minutes of my time, and the van will be running. So let's get inside the van. I'll start the van, I'll show you that it's not, the computer is not recognizing the key, and it needs to be programmed. So, and also, currently that computer that we just installed is reading a different VIN number. So, let me show you what happens, okay? Right now, when I put the key, when I put the key in ignition, and I go ahead and start the van, as you could see, the green key flashing, and the van died. Let me turn it back off and start it again. And again, as you can see, it's flashing. So that tells us it's not accepting the mobilizer. So watch this, I'm gonna hand over the camera, and I'm gonna use my cell phone, I'm gonna connect to the vehicle, I'm gonna rewrite the VIN and I'm gonna do replace ECM procedure. So, this is my cell phone, okay? I'm gonna be using X431 app. I'm not gonna update it, so I'm gonna connect to Honda. And uh, you can go ahead and buy this tool from us. It's a $4.99, okay? We can send you this tool and you can do this right off of your cell phone. All right, and uh, we're gonna connect to the vehicle. It takes about a second, and uh, 16 pin. It's doing it all via Bluetooth, so there's no wires attached, and you could, you pretty much could do anything the dealer can do it on the vehicle, Re reprogramming the keys. And currently, it's reading a VIN number. As you can see, this VIN number does not match the VIN number that's on the the jam right here because we put a different computer. So what we need to do, we actually need to go ahead and rewrite the VIN. So, so here's what happens, okay? As you can see, I'm hitting okay. And then I'm gonna click six system selections all via Bluetooth and I'm gonna go into the engine control module. Okay, and it's also connecting. You wanna have a good battery when you do this. But as you can see, I'm just using my cell phone. There's no high-end scan tool involved that's connected like a Honda scan tool which costs like five six thousand so we're gonna go to special functions and write VIN okay all right and it says please input the VIN so now we're gonna write this VIN number into the computer that we installed so it's a five Frank Nancy Rick Larry five Henry six eight Charlie boy zero five three zero zero six you want to make sure it's correct and you're gonna confirm it and it says it's hit yes so now it just went ahead and and wrote the VIN into that computer the VIN will still not start there's also an option replace ECM PCM from this option it will not do that it will say it's not supported so we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go into a mobilizer and now we're gonna marry that computer with see it identified a mobilizer code we're gonna marry that computer with this vehicle 
and we're gonna do replace ECM PCM this procedure you need in factory scan tool to do uh, and it also will require you to put a pin code but this software will actually go ahead and bypass that I will not have to put any pin codes it will uh, automatically do it and you can shoot us an email and uh, we can sell you this tool it's four ninety nine it's actually four hundred ninety nine dollars and it's a free shipping so it says turn ignition off so I'm gonna hop in I will turn ignition off okay it says turn ignition back on my green key still flashing I turn it on and as you can see it says turn it back off and I'm gonna go ahead and now start all right so we just went ahead and performed the procedure we reprogrammed everything so that computer now should start and run so let's put the key in ignition and start it up all right as you see no more flashing key my van is running I still have a couple other lights on the dash because obviously I'm still working on this van but I was just able to perform this procedure on this van using my cell phone okay I am running X40, uh, X431 iDiagon uh, app on my phone. The app is free, you just need a hardware to run with it. I was able to do all this via Bluetooth. Um, you'll have a lot more options like uh, checking your airbag system, your check engine, traction ABS, whatever you really want to do, you could do it. Uh, all using your cell phone via Bluetooth. So that's it for this video. This was George with Melnix Automotive. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.